Ah. Alright guys, uh, it is uh, coronavirus uh, day uh, 360. We're just uh, six days off. From uh, exactly one uh, year of uh, coronavirus uh, regulations and uh, Yes, that is not something to celebrate about. So, yeah. Uh, today we have uh, 1,299 uh, cases. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. 329 from, from cases are from Toronto. 192 is from Peel region. And 116 is from York region. 15 deaths have been reported. Okay. The coronavirus variants, it's uh, eight, uh, 828 uh, UK variants, plus two. And uh, South, uh, 31 South African, uh, South African variants, still the same from the last two few days. And 13 uh, Brazilian variants, uh, which is a... Uh, which has been increasing uh, since two days ago. It was at three. Tomorrow, yesterday, it was at eight. And now today is at 13. Uh, it's uh, going up on a plus five interval. So I want to talk about... Uh, uh, if you're wondering what I'm drinking, oh yeah, I'm drinking y'all. I thought these were extinct. So I want to talk about uh, land of a border, the Canada US uh, land border. So if, uh, so if we had uh, less uh, travel between uh, right now, we could like curb uh, coronavirus uh, cases uh, in Canada. Of course, the uh, coronavirus uh, testing rules have been implemented uh, already. Uh, you know. So of course, uh, there's like a, a kick given out at the border crossing when the uh, people who are coming through the U.S. the Canada U.S. Uh, land borders and uh, so they'll be given two kits and uh, uh, one one of the self swab molecular test is to be taken on the day they arrive and. Uh, of course, but both prior they have to like yeah, they have to show that I ha I got vaccinated, I can come over through the land border, and of course uh, with uh, if you plow travel to uh, by, by uh, air airplane, uh, it's of course you have to get vaccinated three three days prior, you know, and your test needs to be negative, otherwise you can't. So and with the however with the land border thing, yeah, you have to get the have to ch have to prove. Otherwise, you get fined. Uh, I think it was like two thousand dollars, two thousand dollars ish, around that neighborhood. And uh, the other uh, self swab uh, is uh, to be used on a. Uh, Day 10 of their 14 day quarantine period. So, failure to complete either the day 1 or day 10 test could lead up to fines up to seven seven $750,000.
or imprisonment according to Travel Fan Canada. If you do not take the test, you may also be transferred to a designated quarantine facility. And this is the, to uh, make sure you don't have the UK variant, the South African variant, or uh, or the Brazilian variant. And of course, these uh, tasks are uh, can be like very uh, successful and uh, order uh, like uh, who has been uh, affected a few days before they arrive back in uh, Canada. And of course, the test test taken on day ten could child care help catch the last uh, percentage of uh, people who came became affected. Did that the day or two before they reached the border. So whether the test would be t negative the day they t get on the border, but uh, they're actually they're still incubating it at that point. Point though. So it's a. So sometimes our uh, travel is not always that uh, necessary. Uh, so, uh, well, maybe let's uh, not travel right now, or maybe let's wait, quarantine ourselves, uh, and only for essential reasons. Uh, Uh, professor, uh, uh, Colin Furness uh, is uh, saying, uh, if there was like a left travel uh, between the border and uh, there will be like less uh, coronavirus cases, uh, of course, uh, Canada has been, uh, Canadians have uh, been urged uh, to avoid uh, non-essential travel, but yet people have uh, been lying and, of course, going, uh, traveling uh, for, like, non-essential reasons. Also, we also have to focus on like whether like uh, people over that over in uh, across the U.S. border, if they're vaccinated or not. Yeah, uh, yeah, even. And of course, I, I've heard of. Uh, on the news that we're uh, apparently uh, Joe Biden said that uh, all of our Americans will get uh, their first shot uh, by a May. Hmm. Well, you know, North America better speed it up because. Uh, There's going to be like uh, people like maybe like 
coming over from uh, from the U.S. border to the end of in the Canada for uh, essential reasons and then they didn't know no, they had the vi virus but yeah they could end up spreading it so uh, a reminder uh, tomorrow uh, Toronto and Peel region uh, is officially entering the gray zone Please keep in mind that the standard oxygen, uh, standard rules are like oxygen bars, steam rooms, saunas, and whirlpools, and, and also other personal care uh, services uh, are closed. Uh, hair cutting's fine. Liquor is uh, only sold and served from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Personal information is required, like name, phone number, and time of entry. So, I'm just gonna re recap the gathering uh, rules uh, you guys can uh, look it down below I had to update it because uh, Toronto and Peel region uh, information is sort of different so uh, Gathering rules for uh, green green zone through uh, orange zone is uh, 10 people indoors, 25 outdoors. Uh, events is uh, 20, 50 people maximum with social distancing. And uh, of course, uh, restaurants, uh, in, indoor dining is uh, 50 people maximum. Red zone, of course, uh, is a maximum of five people in there, 25 outdoors uh, for gatherings uh, and meetings, uh, 10 people indoors, 25 outdoors. So, of course, uh, there's a, however, like, of course, the restaurant rules, that's uh, sort of different. Uh, it's like for restaurants, bars, uh, gyms and fitness centers, Casinos and indoor event spaces that uh, it's 10 people maximum and uh, Of course uh, with restaurants uh, buffets styles restaurants can open only four people to a table max And of course uh, if there's an underage person uh, at a gym or a fitness center Yes, uh, their parents or guardian uh, Can uh, accompany their can friends just can't come in and uh, you know and of course, uh, time, maximum time time is uh, 90 minutes. Uh, of course, supermarkets, convenience stores, pharmacies, and shops that selling groceries must ca the limit capacity cap, cap to 75%. Uh, and retail and big box stores must be capped at 50%. And music should be uh, at a normal conversation level. No spectators for film and television production and rehearsals and, uh, and stuff must uh, stay two meters away of the protective barrier. That thing. So this rule also applies to the gray zone uh, in, the, in the Toronto and Peel region uh, gray zone exclusive rules. Of course, the liquor can only be served. And, uh, no, not drinking liquor be, uh, between 10 p.m. to 9 a.m. Of course, that uh, this arouses a lot of confusion. Uh, so the gray zone, like thunder, which is like the regular rules, uh, with the Thunder Bay. And Simcoe Muskoka region currently right now. Some bin, some businesses are allowed to open at twenty five percent capacity. And uh, indoor dining and out, of course, dining the uh, closed. Uh, so take out and uh, you know. 
drive through and delivery is up. This this is when that comes in. Virtual driving classes. Mm hmm. Of course, uh, anything that is gambling that is closed. Uh, only drive-in cinemas are open right now. No live audience for, of course. Yeah, I mentioned that. Amenities uh, are, uh, and hotels are closed. So, of course, personal care closed. Nightclubs and strip clubs uh, can only provide uh, takeout and food and drink. And, of course, no social gatherings of any kind. Of course, curb, uh, curbside pickup is available. Cannabis stores, libraries, retail stores, uh, shops at malls, and non-essential shops. Of course, uh, Toronto and Pure Region, of course, uh, yes. Uh, of course, no live, no live audience. Yes, that's... And so veterinarian services, farms, kennels, stables, and shelters are open. Only the owner of the designate, uh, you know, owner of the horse can visit. And uh, tra training for horse racing is allowed, though. Like, actual horse racing is not. And amusement, amusement parks are closed. Museums and cultural meanings are... Uh, and it is, uh, I think, uh, can can open uh, open uh, drive through uh, only uh, zoos uh, can open on drive through basis or care or for care services. Trailers and RVs uh, need a full season contract and uh, and is allowed. Uh, no. However, like with the you know electricity, water, and sewage. Uh, no, and however, recreation for recreational facilities uh, at campgrounds are not available except washrooms and showers. Short-term bookings uh, before uh, is allowed before November twenty-second, and after uh, they can only uh, visit short-term, of course. Of course, cannabis stores are open. Uh, all uh, of course, uh, drive-in uh, cinemas are open. Outdoor golf courses and driving ranges are open. So indoor like uh, and drive driving ranges. So indoor facilities are closed and clubhouse uh, uses are limited. So uh, you have to make sure to check in with them. Hotels, motels, and resorts and student residents can open, but um, amenities are closed and short-term rentals are uh, before the 22nd is allowed, but after is only for those who actually need it. So, like, and uh, all uh, household services, uh, meetings, and events are, are only for child care, court, governmental, mental health, and addiction support. You know, 10 people maximum inside at a time. And of course, personal care services closed. Commercial and industrial photography only, real estate and appointment only, and supermarket, convenience stores and pharmacies and others are selling groceries must cap at a 50% retail and big box store that must cap at 25% and indoor malls that must uh, screen all patrons and uh, no loitering is not allowed so organize the uh, indoor public events and social gatherings are only for those in the same household out, out, outdoor events are like you know 10 people max Maximum and fitness is for like athletes uh, who are like professional athletes who are like training for maybe the Olympics, uh, NHL, NFL. 
what else there is? Yeah, pretty much. Yes. Those only. Of course, take out. Drive through and delivery is available so for uh, re restaurants, bars, and cafes. So, of course, you can use uh, Uber Eats and a DoorDash. Uh, many many uh, restaurants are using DoorDash right now. And currently with hospitalization, that it is at 606 with the virus, minus 14. 273 is an ICU, minus 5. And 179 uh, of them are uh, using a ventilator, minus 2. Okay. That's an improvement. Long term care home, that, that is uh, that 3,748 deaths. Still the same as last time. Outbreaks right now, right now is that there are currently 84 outbreaks in long-term care homes and 15 and 59 uh, like no rest of the cases. That number is unchanged. Oh, uh, you know, please uh, follow uh, coronavirus uh, safety rules uh, and uh, color zone uh, rules. Uh, stay safe. Let's hope the court cases don't get worse.